itu tahun do kiman sal nisna wisna tahun establish kurato itu tahun kula do hule sixty apa fose acha to abnihan lah rasta itu tiki kena pisi moon pika ya sna to abnihan tahun asu kuele itu rasta do panai kena pia wasna panai panan eh itu makan suruh bra kena dia di no hai Oh ni tu bra ini mending gua kena culi aje. Aro, itu sabtu biar holi bi kunci sah manu nae. Papli perahi, papli perahi mending gua aje. Cita. Acha tu itu kerum bra ikut sanksian gua nae. Ikut bi nanti. Tu abnian tu tahun nasi gua le itu rasta tu le pi tuplo di department laka hubu na. Tu pi tuplo di nama tu pi tuplo dia aje. Holi bi nala tak bi nubunai dia tu. Acha acha. Rasta nubunai nala tak bi. उन कुले भी अम्मा का नीचो बड़ा ही कुले तो अपने हम किना फाबिया से किया कर्म में लोगों की कोबली मुना से ना रास्ता नहीं मिले अम्मा का कर्म ने तो फाबना पाचा तंगोर हुरो पूरा पूरी सब तो इतु रास्ता पर आहार जवाब पूरे से इतु पर अम्मा का कर्म ने डिप्लोप तो रास्ता से रास्ता पिया होले अम्मा का � Barisnya kau leh tu, amakan logo TV itu rasa tu penyedia dia leh PC file hobi nak kau kau ni, amakan request aja. Jeng itu bi pula pula kuli kini aja itu, ikut bi nala tak bi nak penyedia dia ni kacarut dekili bira aja tak kampi, atau high school bi ni kaya aja. Good evening sir, my name is Yang Tingli and I'm serving here as a pastor in this Chari town past two years. Past two years. Two years. Yes, sir. My village is in the Kipri side. Pastor, what is your view uh, on the road condition of this region, this Chari town, and the adjacent area? You have been here for so long. What are your observations? Please do share with us. Yes, sir. Uh, as we all know, that the transportation is one of the most important elements. The progress of the region take place. As I have mentioned that since I have been here from past two years and I, as I observed that the road condition of the Chari Town is so pathetic and it's really so horrible. As a really we cannot express the road condition of this Chari Town and especially when we observe our school children, those who are coming from 10 kilometers, 5 kilometers, and 2 kilometers, they are really struggling for their life, wearing their school uniform and coming from such pathetic road condition. So I feel pity on those our school children. Not only our school children, but public, those who are living here in the Chari Town are also facing a lot of inconveniences because of this road. Because during the summer season, we cannot able to visit our neighbors. We cannot able even to go down to the shop also. So it is all because of the road condition. And if our leaders of Longkem and Chari area and concerned government authority will take the necessary action, regarding this road development activities then it will be really helpful to our school children as well as our public also so that if can if they can able to develop our road activities then we can live a peace, peaceful life here in the chari town here in the chari town uh, pastor has this road ever been repaired no so far i'm told that they did not repair or even the, they did not take any development activities. Uh, okay, so what is your uh, final message to the government authorities? Yes, as I have mentioned, if our public leaders of Long Term Chari area and the government concerned authority, if they take the necessary action regarding the development activity, road development activities of this Chari town, then that will be really helpful for our public. So our public can live peaceful life if they develop the road condition. Thank you.
Pastor, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, thank you for enlightening uh, regarding the brutal reality of this region. Uh, I personally really hope that the government uh, will listen to your voice. You have spoken on behalf of uh, the people of the region. Thank you so much. That right to have access to good road, and not only good road, but good quality road, is a fundamental right of every citizen. It is a duty and obligation of the government as well as the local authorities, state government and in the context of Nagaland, the PWD, it is their duty to provide you the good roads, the good quality roads, how to tackle these bad roads, where to go. This is a common man's question, right? So the answer is very clear here and answer is given in the constitution of India. We have judiciary, of course we have administration. But if you find administration inactive or maybe for some reasons uh, your grievances are not being addressed, then there is a judiciary. See, I would be speaking on behalf of the people. I would simply request uh, the government to kindly listen to the people to understand their grievances. The road is a fundamental right under Article 19 and Article 21 of the Constitution. So rights of the people have to be protected, rights of the people have to be defended no matter what. That is point number one. The second thing is that uh, the Bombay High Court has clearly given in its judgment that under Article 21, the good roads has been, right to access to the good roads, good quality roads has been considered as a fundamental right. So uh, government uh, has to uh, take necessary steps. Government officials have to assure that the rights of the people have been protected and rights of the people should not be Rasta laga to inga ita khubale mona se. Amahan chari town do, chari town gua do. Hawa pani so phala se. School bi chada pangsta se. Aro office so department so yati se. Halibi so se piya do rasta so para piya do rasta se. Aha cha kuri bolle bi rasta piya hua para. Office the area kan office the aha ahile bi rasta piya hua para. Chang sunday tadi. Harakurikine thing brai thake. Office toki le mana sob opote thaka bra. Aro pregnant anma khandi hospital de aro aha cha kura khandi rasta piya hua bra. Itu kitiya ba do ini problem bi ulai thake itu bra. Amma han chari taun do sob hala se holi bi rasta piya se itu bra. Ini request amma han side bra. Ini mutab manga nishna. Amma han chari taun laga rasta do alab side ille halo bana ke koi kine. Itu amahan laga side pray itu eta koi dia se. Acha sister laga opinion dulu kias na. Mui ni eta ko boleh mana se. Mui yate tangguh koi dia na hanu lebi born in border from ya dia se cari tangguh pera. Aro papi saya le. Pacar ada yang pera itu eta papi saya le. So pala se office ni rey dia guanis na member. So koi dia se. Lebi yate mui alap eta ko boleh mana thaga do. Rasta itu jodi. Pal berapa naik dia le? Palas ini nanti, okey na, mui rasa ni mite ini, mohon sop palas ini boleh bi, sop tu rasa piah hui le, itu sop tu piah hui, itu ber rasa ini, jodi panai le palas ini nanti, okey na, itu ini feel asih dia tak? Ayah, kau tahu kau boleh mohon asih, kira mana? Amahan, ya di cari tahu itu, itu ada cari tahu, ini kah itu kuli kena jadi, itu ada fifty years apa uff jaya sih, boleh bi. Rasta do ini plek to ping ini kai ini kulisena kurana mohon berana cane, to sob halal se itu bra rasta do ini piah se itu bra ini amahan side bra thari tahun dia thaga amahan aro ini amahan itu pasangan sob milai kena itu thari tahun do rasta do panai ti le kini kah sunjur hobo aro mana aha cak kurangan bi kini kah hal bra khusi bra pira bona koi kene Itu rasta itu panai di le, kiman khusi babo, public kan di karman logo, pisi khusi babo dia koi kene itu ekta koi dia se. Mui di ini amahan la leader ekta se, itu bra mui papi sayi le. Amahan pali bra ini nuhul nuhul bi, sob la nampra mui kupon le muntah kado. Karman bi itu jauh di take up kuri kena, itu next next ina nuhul na. Beratak itu cari tahun lagi ini nuhul bi do mohon do national highway nishna ya se papi sayi le. सब मोहन एस्ट्रे ने भी आतो मोहन इधो मेन दो इधो आसे मेन के दो इधो कारणे पढ़ा तक चोल्टी रास्ता दो पनाई दी दे साई दी दे हाल हो पनाई की कोई ना मुई कोर्मन दे इधो कोई दिए से 
So since how long you have been uh, staying in this uh, area? It's uh, Cherry Town, right? Cherry Town, yes, yes, yes. I've been staying here almost uh, uh, for almost uh, 30 years. Uh, three zero, 30 years? Yes. Sir. Okay. And uh, since how long you have been serving uh, in the school? In the school? Same year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I came here in Boston here and so, I have been staying here since the date of appointment. Right. So that means uh, everything is right in front of your eyes. Yes, the condition sir. of the town, the yes, problems yes, of the yes. town. So I have a, yes, I have one question for you, sir. Yes, uh, sir. What do you think about uh, the road connectivity and the road condition of uh, this entire area, the Chari area? Okay, here actually at Chari, the road is only approach road and circular road only. From this road, uh, it doesn't connect to any other important road, but. As far as our observation is concerned, the road condition at Chari is very bad, I should say. Since uh, there is no development <coughs> project from any quarters, from any department, that is the problem we have. Uh, so that means, does that mean that uh, since all these 30 years, uh, what you have been observing yes, is that sir. there is no development at all in terms of the road condition? Yes. Roads have always been like this. Yes, yes. Actually, the road is under Pitablodi, Nagaland, Pitablodi, but it is not looked after by the concerned department next away or any other <coughs> department. Some, from time to time, public used to repair it. From time to time, except that one. Otherwise, here, yeah, there is no project at all, and there is no development uh, found from any department. That is the problem we have. Right, sir. So since uh, you have been living here for over 30 years, yes, uh, have you come across uh, 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 any situation wherein uh, the government staff or government officers come for the survey uh, to check the road condition? Uh, has anybody from the government ever come to this site for a visit to visit the road condition of the area? Uh, for the development of the road condition? Yeah. No. So far as my knowledge goes, no department, no official has con uh, concern about this road condition at our down. Right. And uh, no project, no uh, funding ever sanctioned for the development of this area, especially the road condition. Yes, true. That is true. That right. is true. Uh, so do you have any uh, message to the people or do you have any message uh, for the government, sir? Yes, of as course. A, as a citizen yes, of, course. of this uh, yes, of independent course, country. As a uh, true citizen of this town, we would like to request the concerned department, uh, that is government, to take up the project and if they sanction some money for the uh, main for the construction of the route and of a town it will be okay since this town ESC headquarters is also one of the oldest town in Nagaland. Oldest town? Yeah, oldest, oh. one of the oldest town. Okay. Yeah, it, is, it was established in 1960 or 70s like that. Right, sir. Yes, but since the inception of the Administration Equator, we have experience and we have come now that no development project in connection with the development of the road has never been initiated from any government. Uh, anyway, sir, uh, thank you so much for uh, talking to Most us welcome, because sir. Uh, Most we, we really believe that a citizen like you can do something for this country, can you can do something for the development of your own region. Thank you so much. We are roads ki condition ke bare mein sochte hain. तो बड़ा दुख होता है तो आप आप क्या देखते हैं कैसी है यहां के रोड्स और इतने खराब नजर आ रहे हैं क्या पूरे चारे इलाके में ऐसे ही रोड है क्या तकलीफ होती है स्पेशली आप जैसे बुजुर्गों को सीनियर सिटीजंस की क्या तकलीफें हैं बताइए जी मैं भी यह कहने का इरादा है क्योंकि खास करके यह छरीताऊं है ना नाम से तो छरीताऊं है ना लेकिन उन्नति के लिए बिल्कुल पीछे हाँ और रास्ते खराब होने की वजह से मतलब करवटी महिला ना वो चलने में दिक्कत हो रही है और खास करके हम लोग के लिए शिनोर सिद्धि के लिए ना ये खास करके बहुत परेशानी लगती है चलने में ना कुछ लोग यहाँ रास्ता खराब होने के कारण से चलते चलते अपने आप भी गिर जाते हैं मैंने मेरा आँखों से खुद देखा है कुछ साल पहले ना इसलिए तो ये तो 
करने से तो सरकार का ऊपर है हाँ क्योंकि बस्ती में तो ना अपना अपना विधि भी है तो विधि भी से उन्नति कर रहे हैं लेकिन जहाँ तो सिर्फ नाम से टाउन है और कुछ इस तरफ से और उस तरफ से कोई उन्नति का सवाल ही नहीं पैदा हो रहा है इसलिए तो हम भी वही सोचते हैं कि किसी दिन ना अगर मौका मिल जाए तो मैं भी इसका बारे में बोलने का बहुत मन कर रहा था इसलिए तो आपने इसका बारे में पूछा है ना तो मैं खुशी से इसका बोल देता हूँ अच्छा सर आई मीन मतलब सच में मतलब बड़े बुजुर्गों को बहुत तकलीफ होती है चलते चलते फिसल जाते हैं गिर जाते हैं गर्भवती महिलाओं को भी बहुत तकलीफ होती है क्योंकि ये रास्ता चलने लायक ही नहीं है गाड़ियां चलाने लायक भी नहीं है तो अब ज्यादा तो कुछ नहीं पूछूंगा सिर्फ एक आखिरी सवाल पूछूंगा आपसे कि सरकार को आप क्या कहना चाहते हैं इस ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द पीपल इस जनता की आवाज बन के आप सरकार को क्या कहना चाहते हैं हमारे माध्यम से जरा बताइएगा अच्छा सीता वही तो सच है और ये ना काम करने से तो ना सिर्फ एक आदमी से नहीं होकर के कुछ इस इलाका का समाज का सब कंधे से कंधा मिला करके ना एक चुत हो करके एक सोलित आवाज निकल के सभी नाम के ना सभी इस बस्ती का नाम से ना सब मिला करके सरकार को अप्रोच करने से तो एक दिन कुछ ना कुछ तो हो जाएगा ये मेरा पता है जी हमसे बात करने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद हमें आशा है कि आपकी आवाज सरकार तक पहुंचेगी सरकार जाग उठेगी क्योंकि यहाँ पर हम काफी घूमे हैं और जी हमें जी कोई अच्छा रास्ता नजर नहीं आया है नहीं, 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 बहुत तकलीफ है यहाँ पर क्योंकि रास्ता एक देश की आत्मा होता है जी जी देश कैसा है देश की सरकार कैसी है देश का गवर्नमेंट कैसा है वो रास्तों से पता चलता है हमसे बात करने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद Fellow citizens and all those who lend me their ears today, I stand before you as the voice of the future. My name is Lirla of Ninth Standard, and I come from the enchanting land of Nagaland, more specifically the most backward eastern Nagaland. As I look ahead, my heart swells with patience, and my soul ignites with an unyielding vision for India's state of Nagaland and my beloved eastern Nagaland. A forgotten land that has suffered in silence for far too long. In the tapestry of our great nation, India, I envision a harmonious symphony of cultures, religions, and traditions. I see a country where every citizen is empowered, where opportunities are abundant, and where unity thrives amidst our diversities. A future where education is not a privilege, but a right. Where healthcare reaches the farthest corners, and where no one is left behind in the march towards progress. Throwing my gaze to the mystical land of Nagaland, I dream of a state where peace reigns supreme, a Nagaland where our rich heritage is preserved, our natural beauty is safeguarded, and our youth are nurtured to be the torch bearers of change. I envision a Nagaland where industries flourish. Entrepreneurship thrives, and infrastructure connects our people to the rest of the nation and the world. And now, my heart beats strongest for my home, Eastern Nagaland. It is time for the nation to recognize the plight of Eastern Nagaland and extend a hand of justice. We cannot turn a blind eye to the struggles of our brothers and sisters in this remote region. They too deserve the right to education, healthcare, and a life of dignity and opportunities. For too many years, the people of Eastern Nagaland have endured the chains of underdevelopment and the shackles of neglect. Our schools in the region lack basic infrastructure. Our healthcare facilities are inadequate, and our roads are mere treacherous paths. The dreams of our youth are stifled, and the aspirations of our elders are trampled upon. We cannot sit idly and watch our homeland languish in darkness, while the rest of the nation cries in the light of progress. We are Indians by birth, by heart, by soul, by spirit. We are the Nagas. We are Indians, 
and we have every right to be a part of our Indian success story. As a representative of young generation, I ask how our great Naga story will be completed without justice to me, my people, and my Eastern Nagaland. Justice means equal access to education, health care, and employment opportunities. Justice means equitable distribution of resources, development projects, and infrastructure. Justice means recognition of unique culture, heritage, and traditions. Justice means access to each and every right mentioned in our Constitution of India. Or oh, how I dreamed of transforming this smart land into an oasis of opportunity. A land where connectivity becomes a reality, where the darkest corners are eliminated by the light of progress. I envision a future where Eastern Nagaland becomes a model of development, a beacon of hope for every backward region in our nation. Let us come together hand in hand to bridge the gap between prosperity and destitution. Let us invest in our people, for they are the true wealth of our nation. Together we shall write a tale of dream over adversity, of resilience in the face of challenges, and of unity in diversity. My fellow citizens, this is not merely a dream, but a mission that calls for unwavering dedication and relentless pursuit. Let us rise above pity politics, rise above divisions, and embrace the true spirit of nation building. Together, we shall make India, our state of Nagaland, and my remote, backward, forgotten eastern Nagaland, a realm of dreams fulfilled. Believe in the power of the future, for we are the architects of our destiny. Let us ignite the fire within us for a brighter, bolder, and more beautiful tomorrow. Thank you, and may the future shine upon us all. Oh, and yours? My name is Tangila. <laughs> and yours? My name is Arla. And what about you? My name is Leila. And young man, what's your name? Uh, my name is Tangila. Oh, so all of you are classmates? No, no, no. Okay, so from which school are you? Are? Uh, we are from Government High School, Charlie. Oh, okay. So uh, you're coming from school now? Yes. And where are you going? Okay, so uh, how do you come to school? Please come this way. I think let us give some space to vehicles, na? So how do you how do you come to school every day? Uh, by leg. By foot. Yes, yes. Oh, every day. Yes. Oh, so how is the road condition from your home to school? Very bad. Oh, can you elaborate? What bad? Like this? Like this only? Yes. Like lot of potholes and uh, absolutely a bad road condition. Yes. Okay, so. What problem generally you guys face? Actually, I was just observing you. You guys were coming, so I thought I should stop you and uh, talk to you for a while. So I'm, I'm just curious. Like, what problems do you guys face while uh, traveling on this road? Uh, there is no proper road at all. The conditions of the roads are very bad, and also at rainy seasons, uh, the road is extremely slippery. It also has lots of puddles all along the road. Oh, okay. And since there are lots of it, it poses a risk to us of getting hurt and getting led to. All right. So, uh, uh, okay. So, have you ever seen any repairing uh, of the road before? Or road is like this only, without repairing. <laughs> Okay, so my, my question, come, come, come forward. My, my question is, so what is your suggestion uh, to the government regarding uh, the road conditions to your school? Because from your school uh, to your home and from home to school, I believe you take the same road, right? So what is your suggestion? What, is, what do you feel? Uh, in my opinion, I think the government should be more serious about the road conditions. Uh, we have been taught in school that right to exist to good road is our fundamental rights under Article 19 and 21. So I wish we could have a better 